So I got this really cool package from Exter about a week ago, and I've been carrying the wallet and key organizer since. I wanted to know, has this company figured out a way to get me to carry a rigid wallet? There are some things about rigid wallets that make me shy away from them. And maybe, just maybe, this has what it takes. And that's what I want to talk about today. Now, before we talk about Exter, let me, let me give you some context on how I feel in general about rigid wallets. I don't carry them, usually. And there's a reason for that. And I want to illustrate that point by bringing in a couple of rigid wallets from different manufacturers. Some from Trayvax. I have a couple of different designs that uh, I've tried to carry. They all have their own little issues. I have one from Phantom, which has a very similar design in the way it works that opens up and deploys the cards. I have the Ridge, the, the sort of rail style wallet from Dango, which actually I, I like that one. And um, this from Grip6. Now, especially, with, let me pull this out for just a second. The problem with, the problem with rigid wallets is in order to accommodate the amount of cards that people actually carry, they expand themselves. And the problem with that is that the only reason you should be carrying this style of wallet in the first place is because you want to go as minimal as possible with as few cards as humanly possible. You don't want to be, if, you, if you're carrying 12 cards, there's a good chance that it's not going to be very comfortable to carry a majority of different wallets. I know for a fact that this will carry eight, no problem, right? I know this will carry seven or so. But as you expand them, like for instance, if you take the Grip6 wallet, which isn't too bad in dimension, and you start adding sleeves to carry more cards, they become bulky very quickly. In fact, their benefits of being narrow quickly diminish and they just become a rigid, another rigid piece in your pocket. And that's an important context when we talk about the extra wallet because, and I'm gonna bring in some, this is probably one of the thinnest, this, this Grip6 one. I wanna show you just how thin the base setup is for this, uh, this wallet. This is very narrow. It's narrower than the uh, Dango. Actually, let me take the band off so you can see. It's narrower than that, for sure. It is definitely narrower than the Grip6, although I think you can get a thinner variant of the Grip6. But once again, you're going to be limited on how many cards you can rock with this thing, uh, depending on the size you get. And I think if you're going to carry a rigid wallet, it should be the thinnest possible. And you should go through your cards and start to decide which ones you're actually going to keep. Because if it, you're not going to go slim, it, I think it kind of defeats the purpose. And that's where we're going to bring in this second extra wallet at the very end. And explain why it's not my style, but I think this could solve my problem. So there's three things about these that have caused me to avoid rigid wallets. The first one is access to cards. So the cool thing about this wallet is more so than any other, it genuinely deploys regular cards, whether they're embossed or otherwise or different thicknesses, better than any other wallet design I have tried. This is actually pretty snug. I've made it pretty snug and it's still deploying the cards perfectly. When I did this with the Phantom R, they didn't deploy correctly, especially if they were different thicknesses or I didn't have it full or did. This seems to be giving me exactly what I want. And if I want to grab a specific card, I can do that. These are actually my cards I carry, so I'm not going to be pulling them out. And speaking of not pulling them out, I'm, I'm going to keep ro the film rolling so you guys can see. This is really incredible. I mean, it is so difficult to get the cards out of this thing. This is the most secure I have ever felt with a rigid wallet. Like, way more secure than the other than the other wallets. Especially, the, like, the, the Armored Summit, the moment you take out a card, everything falls out. Right? The Grip6 actually does have pretty good security. But, um, it also has the ability to launch your cards somewhat. 
if you squeeze too fast. So <laughs> if you go off too fast, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, it's more secure than even this one, which was pretty darn secure. I'm very pleased with that. But most importantly, what I'm pleased with was just how compact this is. And this is an aluminum shell. So the whole thing is RFID blocking. So if that's important to you, this will do that. Now, what I don't think they do is sell it with anything less than some combination of plate and sleeve. And that's okay because that does not expand it all that much and still gives you the RFID blocking. So you can go ahead and put this sleeve on. And if I'm being honest, that's probably all I would do. And it's a silicon sleeve, right? And what you do is you take the plate, which this one is red and black carbon fiber, and you put it in there and then this provides RFID protection for your card. You can then push your card up from there. And it, this allows you to stack more cards. But I, I honestly, I don't think you should carry that. As cool as it is. I, I, in fact, I, if you can avoid it entirely, I would go with nothing because this disappears in the pocket completely. Like I almost don't know it's there. That's exactly what I've been looking for. The fact that it is easy to deploy the cards and it works like it actually works, which is awesome. And it's that flat. I'm love. I'm in love with that. Now, quickly, let me go ahead and put this sleeve on because I think this is what I'm most likely to do is actually just have this rubber gasket on there for a couple reasons. The first one has to do with their tracker, and now this is a collaboration between themselves and Ch Chipolo. I want to call it Chipolo. Chipolo, sorry, Chipolo, and look at how thin this thing is. This thing is super thin. And what I like about Chipolo over all of the other trekking systems that are for Android is that these actually connect with the Find My Phone from Apple. And the amount of iPhones out there that already have the software installed for Find My Phone is so large. This is going to be a more effective tracker than most of the other Android trackers. And this particular one actually has a solar panel. So you never have to worry about actually... Um, changing out the battery. Now, I don't know for sure if this is IPX rated in any way. I'll have to look that up and maybe I'll put it in, on the screen here. But I love how thin this is. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to set it up just like that, which is how I would carry it. I wouldn't have any cards on the outside because I don't even need to. This is actually my normal number of cards set up. And okay, what I will do is take my badge, which I use to get into work, and I will put it on the outside, on the opposite side. And that is a very nice and trim setup. I like that. Ooh, wrong side. I like that a lot. This I could see myself carrying. When I did this with other designs, and these are great quality-wise. They work, but they become thick, right? When I tried it with other ones... They always get so big, so thick that I like, look, look at that. That's without any cards and it's almost the same thickness, right? On the outside. That's the problem I have with rigid wallets in general. But this actually is about as compact or a little bit less compact than my thinnest wallets in leather. Not half bad. And I like the shape and I like how easy it is to deploy the cards. I like that a lot, in fact. Now, the tracker system, that they, this has already been tried by a lot of different people. I want to get to um, the key organizer. But first, before we get there, just something really cool I want to show you. Just so, I just happen to have this in my collection. I thought, you know what? This is like the perfect thing. So this has the red and black carbon fiber, which is a cool limited edition I think they have. Check that out. Tell me that is not like the perfect combo, the QSP Penguin with the red and black carbon fiber. And that, sorry, I, I just had to, had to. All right, moving on. Let me look at this, organi this key organizer. I use, for my keys, I'm always using my key bar. Okay, that, that's my general go-to. And normally, on a key organizer, I want the best security between my keys 
Oh, here it is. I want it between my keys and my car fob, right? I want it to have the best possible security. So magnets make me pretty nervous about doing that. So I like the locking espioners. They're cheap and they're very strong. And I've not lost any keys as long as I actually lock the spring gate, which I've done here. So I haven't had any issues. This design has uh, their new slip joint system, but they have done something with the magnets here that is quite genius. Instead of having two magnets, which is what you'd normally see, there's a single one, but it's a collar that actually sl slips on top of this dial. And by having it seat itself like that, if I pull it any angle, like except straight back, I mean, I literally have to pull straight this way in order to pull this thing off, it won't go anywhere. Because of the, the way they have done this, I feel way more secure about having my keys like attached with this than I have with other magnetic systems. So really, really well done. Speaking of key systems, this is a shackle that adjusts depending on how many keys you have. I just set it up the way they recommended it. And you can see there's spring washers on each side. And uh, it was pretty easy, honestly. To, to do this. So I really do like that. You just tighten that whole thing down. And this is actually the screw and you can do it by hand. You can undo it quite quickly and easily and put another key on. I haven't had any issues. Just watch out for the small components that <laughs> you don't lose them. Now, last thing I want to talk about. Now I've only had this for, you know, about a week. Okay. So I haven't had a huge amount of experience, but more so than even the, where is it? This credit card size tracker, which is already amazing. This tracker is fantastic. Not only can you find your phone with it, which is cool. You can find it itself, it rings. And th this little addition they have in the front, it, it seems like a small thing, but I love this. So you hold it for like three or four seconds and you get this really low, maybe one lumen uh, light, which may not seem like a lot, but in the pitch black, if you have your keys and you need to insert it into a key slot, right? It'll help you do that with basically one hand. So I actually really like this key tracker. In fact, I like the shape. And regardless of whether I use this particular key tracker or not, I mean, sorry, uh, key organizer, I will more than likely be putting this into my key bar or any key organizer that I actually have because I think this thing is fan-freaking-tastic. I love it. And it's just the right size for just every key organizer I've ever seen. It's short enough that it kind of passes in between the pivots yeah, so I love, love that. And just turn it, hold the press again to turn it off. And there you go. Good to go. So really, really neat. As far as rigid wallets are concerned, um, the Dango wallet at 30 was, up until this point, was my favorite. It's still a great contender. But when it comes to thickness, the extra wallet has it in space. It really can accommodate uh, all my cards easily. It's easy to deploy, as easy as that one, just a little different. And I can keep a tracker with my um, key card and it still be really slim. So this package is basically everything I carry, but now I have additional functionality of being able to find my wallet and potentially find my keys. So regardless of if I keep this or not, I will be integrating these two trackers somehow into my remaining kit. I, I love those. I think they're fantastic. And uh, maybe, maybe, this, uh, maybe this will sway me to actually carry a rigid wallet for the first time. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Extras should be very proud of themselves because almost nothing, including the dangle, which I said I liked, has convinced me to, to switch over but I'm liking this a lot. And I'm going to continue carrying it because it's been very comfortable to carry. Maybe that's because of its length too. Notice that it's a little bit longer than some of the other wallets. 
I find that it's it's the thickness and this width that really matters from a comfort standpoint. It actually can sometimes be better to be longer because it makes it sit the it makes the wallet sit up and down in your pocket versus like tilting and sitting to the side. You almost want it to be an extra uh, centimeter. I don't know what the advantage would be because it would guarantee it's staying in one position. And it won't really feel like anything different. Well done. Well done, Exter. Now, real quick, we'll talk about this. I, they also sent me, and I didn't know they were going to do this, they sent me this version of the wallet. Now, you can see this leather cover. They have a version that is not with this flap, but just a leather cover on top of it. And that might be the money for someone. I definitely think that I would like to try just the, the soft leather cover surrounding the aluminum. I think that the feel of it just, I think, works really well with the more elastic style band and the, and the leather here versus the, the hard piece. I would like to try one of those. Um, this particular flap design, this is not for me. As you can see, even without it being full, it's a little bit too thick. But from a convenience standpoint, I have a lot of women in my life who may be getting a wallet for Christmas and probably will love it. <laughs> uh, I think they're going to be in love with the uh, system that is provided here. So thank you, Exter, for uh, hooking up people in my life with awesome stuff. I really do appreciate that. Now, as far as you, as far as everyone else is concerned, they did send me a discount code. You can either use max level EDC on their website or click the link down in the description in the pinned comment, and that will give you a discount on their entire website. Uh, I don't know. It'll vary up to 40% off depending on what the items are. But I do appreciate them sending that over. So if you guys are still looking for last minute items, I think it's the, what is it? The 13th of December today. Um, they're still shipping out. And this these codes will last up until the 25th of this month. So there we go. I think they did a pretty good job. More so than almost any other company that I've seen making the rigid wallet designs. I'm going to try it. I'm going to carry it for maybe, let's say a month, and then we'll see how it goes. But I really do appreciate you guys stopping in and checking this out with me. Uh, Exter is a new company that I have never tried before, and so far, I'm really impressed. Thanks for your time, and we'll talk again soon.